Hello, I'm biohacker health coacher Joe Baines, and I am in a cemetery. Right, so as you can see, there's dead bodies around me all the way everywhere. So I'm in a cemetery, and I thought this would be a great place to do a video on uh, junk food. So junk food is basically processed foods, fast food, uh, anything you eat in uh, in most restaurants in. Um, McDonald's, KFC, all that kind of stuff. It damages your metabolic system, uh, which causes metabolic disorders or metabolic syndrome. And metabolic syndrome is things like diabetes, high blood pressure, um, heart disease, Alzheimer's, cancer. Cancer is also a metabolic disorder. Um, uh, COVID, if, you've, if, if you're metabolic system is damaged, then your immune system is almost also damaged. COVID, it's easier to catch diseases as well because your immune system is down. So you're in trouble. Also, if you're fat, especially if you've got fat um, in your, uh, on your stomach, uh, you, are, you have what it's called visceral fat. Uh, if you've got visceral fat, you're also, you, that is also a metabolic disorder. Um, so if, you're, if you've got a belly, um, it's nothing to be proud of. It basically means you're ill. Uh, so automatically that's a sign, one of the first signs that there's something wrong with you, that, there's, there's, that you are not performing well. So eating fast food, eating junk food, there's a reason it's called junk food because it is literally junk. You know, in the old days, they used to have this uh, saying for cornflakes, uh, for cereals, was that the, there's more nutrition in the in the cardboard that it came in than the actual food well that was actually true and it still is by the way it still is yeah if you eat the cardboard it's going to do less damage to you than eating the cereal or the or the cornflakes or whatever it is inside that package so you want to stay away from uh, those kind of things right. so what metabolic syndrome it damages your uh, metabolism it damages and the metabolism is there to keep you in homeostasis is there to keep you in check, is to keep you alive. And if you damage that, then your body's ability to keep you alive uh, lessens. And so the, the side effect of that is that you end up with all these kind of problems, like diabetes, for example, or a high blood pressure. And diabetes, by the way, has massive complications. Uh, diabetes type 2, that is, a huge health complications, uh, because then you'll end up with neuropathy, where your feet will have to be cut off, and you have eventually your hands and toes and things like that. So those are the um, side, side effects of having diabetes. Um, and it all caused by um, processed foods, all caused by junk food, all caused by fast food, all caused by um, uh, the crap that we eat. And the crap that we eat, it's the equivalent of... Uh, of, of um, uh, cigarettes laced with cocaine. They give you this, this, this buzz in your head, which hijacks your brain, which makes you want to eat them more, which gets you addicted. It's an addiction. Uh, and because they're designed to be addictive. And the, the, the uh, cigarette in there is the, what damages you. So those foods, are, because they're designed, they're made with the cheapest of the cheapest of the cheapest of the cheapest ingredients. And they don't care about your health. So when you buy crisps, crisps have no nutritional value whatsoever. They have zero health value. In fact, they have a minus health value. Same with biscuits, same with cereals, uh, same with KFC, uh, same with Coca-Cola. All these fizzy drinks, they're exactly the same. All these different types of cereals that you buy, muesli or whatever else is, is uh, all, all of these in the supermarket, bread as well, bread, um, Vegetable oils, the ones that come in the supermarket, ones in the plastic bottles, they're toxic to your body. Uh, they'll give you metabolic disorders as well. Uh, on top of that, people, um, they talk about honey, right? Well, the, the supermarkets don't sell honey. So if you're buying honey from a supermarket, um, it's not honey because it's being processed the hell out of it. And so it's got no nutritional value either. It's just sugar. Uh, and all you're doing is... Um, spiking your insulin levels. If you want real honey, you have to go to a health shop or you know somebody who does raw honey. Because as soon as honey 
is taken above, I think it's 45 or 50 degrees, you destroy it completely. All these health benefits disappear. So if you're eating honey from a supermarket and you're thinking you're eating honey, you're not. You're eating uh, syrup flavored honey, which is basically what it is. And all these foods will put you here quicker, right? Nice. Nobody lives forever. But what eating processed foods will do It'll give you these dopamine spikes to keep you addicted to it. It'll give you this rush, um, like, a, like a cocaine hit, basically, but short ones. And so for five minutes of pleasure, uh, you, and then what that does is you, you store up suffering for your future self. So you lower your quality of life. You lower your ability to get shit done. You lower your ability to be productive, to be healthy, to be um to to live a higher quality of life and when you're when also damages your brain as well all this fast food and it'll give you depression it'll uh, lower your um it'll cause anxiety inside of you i've noticed this if when i have eaten uh, processed food or junk food i'm a, i'm a miserable bastard and then i catch myself i'm like why am i being so miserable i'm normally quite cheerful and it's because I ate some crap. Uh, so th that all of those things harm you massively.